Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Videofort here with another tutorial. So what we're going to be looking at today is how to add fonts to your desktop apps using the Creative Cloud. So first I'm going to open up my Creative Cloud Manager here and you'll see that I have these four tabs, Home, Apps, Assets, Community. I'm going to move over to Assets and select Fonts and you'll see that it has this prompt here. And that's what this will look like if you haven't already set up Typekit. So go ahead and click on Add Fonts from Typekit. And that's going to open up the Adobe Typekit website. So you can see that there's a lot of options here. Um, there's a lot of great fonts. You can, you can filter them by web use, desktop use, and whether or not you're looking for decorative, script, etc. I'm going to go ahead and choose black letter for this because uh, it's one that I won't use any other time, so why not? So I open up Givri and that's the font that I want to use, so I'm going to go up here and click use font. So this prompt will ask you to select the fonts from this family that you want to sync to your computer via Creative Cloud. I've got that selected, and I'm going to go ahead and sync that up. And you'll see I just got this notification that the font has been added to my type kit. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Creative Cloud Manager, and you see that now instead of that prompt, I have my font here. It's important to note that to use your synced fonts, you have to have that Creative Cloud application running. So now that we do have that running and we have the font synced, let's go ahead and check this out in a desktop app. So I've opened up After Effects, and I'm just going to go ahead and add a text layer. Then I'm going to go into my character window and find the font that we downloaded. And here it is. So one more thing before we finish up. The really cool thing is that you can sync these fonts up with Creative Cloud applications and word processors. So if I opened up text edit, I'd have the same fonts that I've downloaded through the Creative Cloud and that I use in After Effects or Premiere or Illustrator or what have you. So I highly recommend that you start using this tool and really take advantage of all the great fonts that are available. All right, that's it as far as adding fonts from the type kit. Be sure to check videofort.com for more After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorials.